My name is Corey Lothrop and I'm going to talk a little bit about my elite gymnastics career. At what age have you started gymnastics and how did you choose this sport? I started gymnastics when I was two years old and I got into it because my parents owned a gymnastics club and I was just always there so they decided to put me in the program. Have you practiced any other sport before? Um, I did a little bit of dance and gymnastics, but it came down to the point where I had to choose, so I chose gymnastics. Nice. When did you know you wanted to be an elite gymnast? I wanted to know when I wanted to be an elite gymnast was probably around um, when I decided, when I figured out that I was good enough to be an elite gymnast, and when I moved from clubs, I moved from my parents' club to Hills, which is owned by Kelly Hill, and she um, brought up a bunch of elite Olympic gymnasts, so I decided to go there. And once I went there, I was um, kind of told that I should do elite. <laughs> okay. How many hours did you train per week, and how many days? I trained every day except for Sunday, and I did double practices. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, so that was a lot. But I did at least 36 to 40 hours a week. How did you balance school, family, friends, and vacation with your sports? With your sport, and did you find it hard to do it, or just, did it just become a habit? Um, when I when I first moved to Maryland from where I'm from, Massachusetts, I did one year of homeschooling, and so that kind of helped me. Uh, balance school and gym, but I didn't do very well at homeschooling, so then I went into public school, and it was pretty easy for me to balance school and gym because I've grown up with um, time management skills and all that stuff, and I didn't take very many vacations because I wasn't allowed to, and didn't have much of a social life growing up. Um, that's about it. I had, I had um, a little bit of family time, but other than that, not really, just gymnastics in school. What were some things you had to kind of sacrifice for your sports and it, since it's so time consuming and demanding? Mostly just going out with friends or going to just social events. There wasn't very much time for that. So that kind of was hard, but um, it's, it's all worth it by the time you get through Elite and you go on to your college career. How did your family and friends support you during hard times? Uh, my teammates were great because obviously they were going through the same workouts and things that I was going through, so they helped out a lot and made me feel like I wasn't alone. And then my family is very supportive and wanted me to do the best I could. And even if I was down, just um, tell me that it's okay and, and the next day will be better. Where has gymnastics made you travel to? Gymnastics has pretty much traveled me around the world. I've gone to um, China, Japan, um, Argentina, Belgium, Germany, France, Canada, <laughs> um, and like all around the country. What does a day in Corey's life look like? More in the past, like when you were training okay. for Elite. Okay. Like for, so, in preparation for the Olympic selection. Or I was pretty hectic. Um, I would wake up in the morning, go to practice for three hours, and then go to school um, for four hours or so, and then go back to gym for another four hours. And I would try to eat in between those times, and then go to bed and do the same thing the next day. Looking back at the past, is there anything you would have changed or done differently? If so, why? Looking back, I don't think I would change anything because as hard as it was and sometimes it was really frustrating, it was um, really nice to look back and see all the things that I've accomplished and um, all the cool places that I've traveled and all the people that I've met and just it's put me in the place where I am today, so I wouldn't change anything. What has gymnastics taught you in life? Gymnastics has taught me a lot of discipline, um, time management, 
stress management, um, determination, just a lot of skills that will help me later in life. And I think that's really important because some people don't get to go through a sport like that. So I think gymnastics teaches you a lot of life skills. What advice would you give to young gymnasts aspiring to become elite gymnasts? I would have to say it's a lot of hard work and just uh, when times are rough, you just have to keep going. There are many times that I wanted to quit and um, my family helped me through that and said probably shouldn't do that and just to keep going because even after elite, there's um, so many opportunities like college gymnastics and um, it's just fun to stay with it and then you can look back like, like I have and just see all the things that I've done. Thank you so much, Corey. Thank you.